What up, what up, what up, ladies and gents? I got something on my mind real quick. You know, I was listening, it was late last night. I was, I was, yo, I was up until four or five in the morning. Lately, I've been up till four or five in the morning just, just reading, listening to YouTube videos on how to become su successful in real estate, uh, other millionaires who have become successful in real estate, just, just getting my mindset back to what my initial ambitions and dreams were. And, I was watching Earn Your Leisure, Don Peebles. Uh, excuse me if I say your name wrong. You know, he's one of the the. He's a black billionaire. I believe he's a billionaire, uh, real estate developer. One of the first out of New York. I think. No, well, no. I think he was born in Washington or something like that. But he's a black developer who's a billionaire. <laughs> That's all you need to know. And um, you know, he's talking about his story, and he. Uh, it was very inspirational. Very powerful. And it made me think about what is possible for my life and, and what do I want and where do I want to go. And it really inspired me to, you know, ditch any ideas of being a, a, a an appliance repair businessman, which I, I know I can make money like that, doing plumbing and electrical. I know I can make money like that, but just really focusing on what my dream is, which is to be a top producing salesman in real estate, possibly insurance, and using my income to invest in real estate first in North Carolina, then spreading it out into other areas, 3D printing, development, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. But he says, so I'll bring it up because he said something that I thought was is important. And, um, you know, he stated that black women are the, uh, or, you know, they, at least in 2021, they've started the most businesses or something of another in terms of, entrepreneurship and you know we see that we see that you know uh, black women are are <laughs> I hate to use the term stepping up black black women are per, per, pursuing entrepreneurship and breaking down barriers and 100% 100% shout outs to it. shout outs to it. this is not here to knock it um, Unfortunately, we, we do see as men that there is a divide where, you know, there, there is a lack of understanding between the men and the woman. This video is not about that. This video is more so about black men. We're going to need to catch up. We're going to need to catch up. And unfortunately, you know, there, there are so many things that are against us in catching up. Um, divorce. Divorce, which is mainly initiated by women these days, it, it could be a hindrance. Um, you know, we're, uh, uh, child support. Child support is a wealth hindrance. It it steals wealth from the man. And you know, I, I saw a video yesterday about how uh, a man. It, this was a 2014 video, but um, a man in Texas. He was paying child support through his job. His job messed up on a clerical error, wasn't sending the payments. Uh, so the, the the judge was gonna throw him in jail for six months. And at that time, at least, there was, there was a law in place where you could pay it off if you got in front of a judge and had the money to pay it off, they would, they would you know, let you pay it off. But in, in that particular, at that particular time, that law was phased out and so he was literally literally going to jail working man one son 12 years old was about to go to jail for six months not not 30 days not night six months and, and, and it's like i remember for me when i was almost put in jail for money that i did not have retroactive support and all this other stuff that i was being introduced to i, I don't even want to get into it but I believe that even even I read this book that stated that the world in 2030 and the world in 2030 they expect for women to have and I don't think it's just black women but they expect for women to have more wealth and and things of that nature than men and what that's gonna mean for society who knows you know because as men we do know that you know a woman don't really want you if you're not on their financial social economic level uh, what that will mean, who knows? You know, um, I 
think it's just going to be a whole bunch of single people. I mean, I already think the family and everything else is is toast. Uh, the laws, the, the structure of society, it doesn't promote family. It doesn't promote men and women working together, coming together, living together. It's it, prefer, it, it promotes a divide. And I'm not here to tell anybody what they should do. Um, I'm just going to say that it's imperative for black men to measure up. And I don't want to say step up because most of the time that that term is used, it's used in terms of taking... Uh, taking on individuals who have a whole bunch of baggage um, I say measure up because it's it's time for us to take more risk it's time for us to put the weed down to put the, to put the blunt down put the henny down um, don't worry about parties don't worry about trying to get some 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 guts <laughs> Because, you know, if we understand what's going on, there's going to be so many, many women out here in the next couple of years because, I mean, women are already selling themselves left and right on OnlyFans. We're not, don't get me started on the Sugar Baby websites. It's out here. It's out here. You know, I, I believe that we have to let go of these traditional ideals. Uh, and again, you know, it, it really comes down to who do you want to be? Or, or let me not even say that because I don't want to sit here and tell anybody what they should do. That That's not what these videos are about. These are these videos are about my journey, my opinion, and whether you resonate or, or not with it, you know, give me your thoughts. For me, I think about life and I, 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 have, I think I say, I think and I say, who do I want to be as a man? I had a conversation with uh, the young, a young lady I'm talking to at the moment and, you know, she's been talking about how Oh, you think you look good and all this stuff and and these women on you or whatever and it's not about looks and all that stuff and as a man we have to know it's not about looks you know depending upon where you want to be I mean don't get me wrong in the hood there are brolic dudes out here who got no money but they got a nice body and they're getting play left and right from women with nothing but at the end of the day, as, as a man, you know, that doesn't sustain us. And that only puts us in a subservient position. As a man, I'm asking myself and I'm saying, I want to be a top 10% man. I want to be a top 1% man. I want to not only make 100000 I want to make a quarter of a million. I want to make half a million. Then I want to get to making a million dollars a year in real estate sales for at least a year or two consecutively straight. And I know it's possible. I know it's possible. Not only that, but I want to have a brolic body. I'm going to have a strong body. I, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to be brolic. I want to have muscles ripped. Not necessarily ripping out my shirt, but I want to have a strong physical appeal. And I'm going to work on it. Y'all see the videos. But I also want to be mentally strong. I want to be well-rounded in every area of life. And as a man, you should desire that too. Because again, I believe that the competition. In terms of men who are going to strive to be well-rounded in every area of life, is low. If if non-existent. So we as men, especially as black men, we have to strive to to measure up to a higher level. We have to strive to become better. Or, or most will be left behind And I think most will be left behind Not only in terms of men But in terms of women as well And it has to be a continuous grind daily That we don't give up We don't let, let go of We don't slow down for We just keep going So I just wanted to give my opinion on that And I appreciate you tuning in like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.